Welcome to uh, Practicing Hydroponics first video. This is a uh, grow room setup. First start by talking a little bit about the water system as everything begins with water I guess in these plants. Uh, as you see here I have two main barrels. Uh, the barrel on the left is a primary storage tank for RO water. I have an RO system that uh, has a pre-filter attached to it. The uh, pre-filter allows me to take out the uh, major amount of chlorine and sediment from the tap water. The RO system then removes all particulate matter. It has a specific um, auto shutoff valve that uh, is electronic attached to a solenoid on the uh, RO system. Solenoid will allow water to go through the filtration system and then into the primary barrel. If the electronic system fails, then there is a manual shutoff switch inside the tank that is basically the same type of a, a shutoff valve that you see in your toilet. It's going off now because I've lifted the lid. As you can see in there, the, on the right, the manual shutoff, and on the left is the automatic. When I close the lid, the float valve on the automatic, as you heard, shut off the water to the RO system, and the water stopped being filtered and put into the tank. The reason why I have two tanks is one, to have a, uh, since I have two grow systems, the tank on the left holds the primary water, which is RO water. The secondary tank, these are 55 gallon drums, by the way. The secondary tank, oh I tripped over my system in the back here. The secondary tank is what I use to mix nutrient solutions into prior to them going into the grow system. I do have thermometers on the tanks to allow me to tell what the temperature of the water is. It stays fairly consistent with the temperature of the room. The room is controlled by a split level system kind that you probably see on the home improvement shows a lot on TV. It is an actual condenser on the outside with an air conditioner heater on the inside. Environmentally, the room is controlled by a CAP4 uh, temperature humidity controller. Next to it on the left is a CO2 parts per million controller. It is connected to the the CAP4E allows for CO2 discharge on a specific parts per million basis. The CO2 system right now is a single tank with a dual regulator. You see the hose extended there on the right can be attached to a secondary tank. The room is set for 1500 parts per million. The controller has a light detection system on it so during the evening hours CO2 is not produced because the plants generally discharge CO2 during the dark cycle. Over here on the left I have two, two systems set up. One currently is uh, in use now it has two of the uh, five, I'm sorry, uh, six rails on it. This is an Aeroflow 36 system. The seedlings that are in here right now were actually started in uh, sure to grow cubes. I had about a 25%, 30% success rate on these seedlings. Kind of disappointed in that. It might have been more my. Uh, ability to uh, to plant the seeds. Um, I now have a different uh, medium that I'm using, the, the uh, plugs of rock wool. The second system is a, a power grower. I plan on putting my uh, tomato plants that have been started as seedlings, grown up a little bit in the Aeroflow system. We'll transfer those over into the uh, power grower due to the fact that the tomatoes and peppers and eggplants, leeks and stuff will need a, a larger base. 
this uh, Aeroflow will become uh, a full herb garden for uh, romaine, buttercrunch, arugula, uh, mint, thyme, parsley, etc. that we'll use in our kitchens here at the ranch. Those will have uh, each of the additional rails that you see underneath here uh, added to it as more seedlings are added to the system. I basically took the Aeroflow and underneath where you see these yellow caps, those are basically three quarter inch hose caps that I've used to close off the rails that would normally attach. Little ball jar lids are covering up the, uh, the holes on here, which you will see uh, lead down into the reservoir. These uh, holes are actually for the insertion of the, uh, the return valve on each of these rails. Over here at my uh, seedling station, these uh, seedlings are were planted just the other day. I already have sprouts on uh, the uh, the butter crunch, the uh, ro romaine, and the arugula. Much better results with the uh, rockwall cubes than I had with the sure to go cubes. But again, I'm going to try sure to go cubes again, just uh, and using this this type of medium tray where there's plenty of uh, circulation, air circulation flow around each one of the cubes. Also in here I have leeks, I have parsley, a number of uh, pepper plants, sweet peppers right now. Those have not fully germinated. These were germinated under darkness for uh, two days before I got all of the sprouts on the uh, arugula, butter crunch, and romaine. Ventilation system is uh, comprised of a cap fan. This is an inline fan. The external goes out the top of the ceiling and is connected to a HEPA filter so no bugs or dirt and dust can enter the grow room. As you can see, this ventilation it's an 8 inch flex duct attaches to the two grow lights. This is the grow light that is currently over the power grow farm. It's turned off now obviously because there are no plants in there. It's also attached to the lighting system over the Aeroflow 36. And then the duct system takes hot air out this little handy window that I actually had built into the room prior to setting it up as a grow room. That window is covered with plastic on the outside. The only thing that uh, is on the outside is a damper, much like the same kind of dampers that you'll find on your dryer uh, vent in your house that open and close with the air leaving the, uh, the room. These lights are 1000 watt lights with digital ballast. These ballasts has dimmer controllers on them as well, and this is the second ballast that uh, will be used for the power grow farm. The bulbs that I'm using are uh, vegetative bulbs at this point, metal halide bulbs. I will change uh, the bulbs to the uh, high pressure sodium bulbs currently using the uh, Solar Max. That's it for our first grow room update. Uh, more to come when uh, we have more plants to show. Hope you enjoy our first video.